Hi everyone, this is Atik. Welcome to my channel Engineering Drive. Today I am going to discuss on types of queues in data structures. Okay, in my previous video I already told you about the working of queue, what is a queue and how the data will be stored in a queue and how the data is deleted from the queue. As we know that the another name of queue is FIFO structure that is first in first out structure the element which is inserted first in the queue will be out first from the queue so as we know that in a queue we are having two ends one is a rear another one is a front from rear end elements are inserted and from front end elements are deleted now queues are divided into some major categories so what are the types of queues supported by our data structure let us see now so there are three types of queues that are present in our linear data structures category one is a circular queue another one is a priority queue another one is a d queue which is also known as double ended queue so every queue is having their merits and demerits and how they will work what are the differences between them let us see in this particular video now what is a circular queue in the name itself you have you have i think you might have got some hint you know a circular queue is a queue in which there is no end which means a normal queue once you insert once you start inserting the elements once it will become full whereas in circular queue what happened if a queue will become full the element from the front will get deleted and new element will be inserted in the same queue so the main advantage of using a circular queue is if we want to reserve our space in memory if we want to make utilize our memory then we can make use of a circular queue which means let us say i have inserted one element from which end i will insert the element from rear from rear end so this is 10 okay next i will insert the number 20 next i will insert the number 30 so as soon as i enter the elements in the queue once it will become full once the queue will become full what happened there is no place for me to enter the next element then what i can do means i can delete the element from the front according to fifo principle and the next element will be inserted in the queue which is a circular queue concept okay then the next type of queue that comes is a priority queue okay priority meaning is preference as we know that a queue follows a strict condition of fifo the element which is inserted first will be removed first sometimes we want to assign some priority to the elements of our queue let us say i want to delete 30 first now actually according to this concept which number came first 10 so according to fifo principle 10 should be deleted first but i want to assign high priority to this number 30 now so in this case 30 will be deleted first from my queue okay because I have assigned 30 highest priority. So according to priority queue concept, this 30 element will be deleted first. One more question. What happened if in my queue, let us say this is 45 and this is 30. Two times the same element is available now. So I have assigned this 30 highest priority now the number 30 I have assigned highest priority but 30 is available two times in the queue then at that time this 30 and this 30 will have same priority at that time my question is which 30 will be deleted first from the queue according to priority queue concept so during that extraordinary case what our computer will do means what our priority queue will do is it will follow next to FIFO principle. So in this queue, 30 is having same priority. So there are two 30s. So which 30 is inserted first? This 30 is inserted first. So this 30 will be out first. Okay. First it will follow the priority concept. If both numbers are having same priority, then our priority queue makes use of our standard principle of FIFO. The element which is inserted first will be out first. Okay. So priority queues, there are two types of priority queues for us. One is ascending priority queue, another one is descending priority queue. In the name itself, we have the answer here. Ascending means small to big, descending means big to small. In ascending priority queue, smallest number will be deleted first from the queue. Which means, suppose in this queue, which is smallest number 10, 10 will be deleted first. Even though if 10 is available anywhere in the queue, that 10 will be deleted first which is ascending priority queue opposite to that is 
descending priority queue in descending priority queue quite opposite the largest number in the queue will be deleted first so we know that which is the last largest number here 45 45 will be out first what happened if 45 is available two times and it is the largest number then our priority queue follows fifo principle okay it should be clear this is ascending and descending priority queues okay simple one and the most important one we need to see is the dq or double ended queue so what will happen in double ended queue in the name itself we got answer here see if we concentrated on side headings in our data structures topic there only we will get 50% of the answer remaining we need to implement that's all double ended queue means generally we need to insert the elements only from rear and we need to delete, delete the elements only from front so what we can do we can use both the sides a queue which can make use of both the ends for insertion and deletion is known as double ended queue so there is no restriction that you should use only this end for insertion 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 of elements you need to use only this end for deletion of elements you can use both the ends so it will be cleared with this uh, types now there are two types of double ended queues input restricted due queue and output restricted due queue in the name itself we need to concentrate input restricted dq input restricted dq means as we know that from rear we will insert the elements so input restricted means you can insert the elements only from rear if you want you need to insert the elements only from this end only from rear end but if you want to delete the elements you can use both the ends you can use rear end as well as you can use front end to delete the elements input means entering the elements output means deletion of elements don't get confused with this word input restricted means insertion is allowed only from one end whereas deletion can be done from rear end as well as front end both the ends this is input restricted dq whereas output restricted dq opposite output restricted output means already told you deletion of elements output is allowed only from one end which means deletion is allowed only from one end that is front whereas insertion can be done either from rear or either from front so these are the two types of double ended queues a double ended queue will make use of both the sides where in one side input restriction is kept whereas in another type of queue output restriction has been kept okay so hopefully you might have got clear distinct hopefully you, you might have got clear differences between what is a circular queue what is a priority queue and then what is a double ended queue okay if you have good knowledge on theory then automatically you can implement in the programs also my dear students okay so with this let us close this today's session of video see you soon take care love is